Good morning, good morning, good morning, morning, morning. Hashtag my global family. <coughs> Excuse me. This is Dre Abeta, coyote walking in this world and real life as Southern Public Superior. Proud to spirit indigenous work. Third time's a charm, family. <coughs> this coyote got a little off topic. And now I'm officially an hour and a half late for yoga. But you know what? It's all right. We still showed up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's part of the battle, family. Showing up to do the yoga, going to the gym, working on our exercise, working on our bodies, working on what we eat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I need you, family. I need you. I need you to change the world. So you know what? We all got to get together and work on our bodies, minds, and spirits. Because I don't know about you, family, but COVID is still affecting my life. My PTSD has been riding me and my anxiety has been through the roof. But you know what? I'm pulling it together, family. I'm calling on my family. I'm calling on my strategies and support systems. And it's going to be okay because we are never alone, family. Always united by our family. So I'm just saying, this is your daily reminder. Daily reminder, reminder, reminder. If everything's not okay, family, it's not you. It is COVID, it is white supremacy, it is capitalism. It is the fact that life is getting faster and not slower. It is the fact that when you become an adult family, you're basically on a never ending checklist because we live in a capitalist society that does not care about us. It does not care about us. The government does not care about us. It doesn't. Institutions do not care about us. The University of New Mexico does not care about Drea Beta. They want my money. They want me the heck out of that door so I can start, stop causing trouble, but they don't care about me, family. And that is what we have to realize. As individual human beings, they don't care about you. And when those politicians talk to you and they say, yeah, believe me, you need to realize you're falling for a trick. And the only way that we can become more powerful is to realize what's happening in the world, right? Educating yourself. You don't have to get a formal education, family. You can read. You can go talk to people. You can look at the news. You can look at Twitter and TikTok. Bet your sources. Always, family, always. I have taught thousands of students in higher education, um, six years in Brooklyn, uh, Brookline College for nurses, four years in Mexico Hines or social workers. Um, I've been in and out of UNM family. So I'm just saying, I always tell my students to check their resources and to find out where that information is coming from and do an intersectional analysis. Who is saying what? And look at the power dynamics. Who benefits by us passing that policy, passing that law, making that change, right? I was recently a guest at Student Legislative Advocacy Day for the National Association of Social Workers, New Mexico chapter, a couple weeks ago family. Um, I was one of their guest speakers. And one of my colleagues was talking about a law that was going, it was pending, right? This legislation was pending. And what it would do is it would give a tax cut to elderly people. And he was like, this sounds great on the surface, but what it actually would do would only benefit wealthy elderly people. So it would be a tax break for the wealthy and actually divest our community. And so he was suggesting we vote against it. And that's the kind of intersectional analysis we have to do, family. Because on the surface, oh, elders, taxes, perfect, without realizing, no, it's a tax cut for the wealthy, and it's not actually benefiting our community. So family, join me in becoming more critical and destroying what needs to be destroyed, rebuilding from the ashes a new humanizing way to live in this world, family. That's what we got to do. We got to change this world. We got to change this world. And we will. We absolutely will because we have no other choice. I'm reminding you that we are all that is here. Our community is relying on us to do the hard lifting, to do the hard work. And I have 28 nieces and nephews around the world. I'm going to have three children someday soon, family. And all of them are waiting for us to make that change. Saying, just saying, make some change with me. All right, family, let us get our yoga on. Let's get our yoga on. Who wants to do some yoga? Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, I love you. Let's do this. Woo! -hoo. Everyone and welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian, and today we have an awesome chair yoga sequence for you. So you're going to need a chair, and preferably one with no arms. 
hop into something comfy and let's get started. No arms. All right, my friends. Thank you for choosing this practice. Let's begin. Sit up nice and tall. You wanna to get to where your feet are firmly planted on the floor, so your whole foot's on the ground. And if, if that's not happening for you, then you can bring some pillows or some blankets or just find something, get creative to bring uh, the earth up to your feet. So you can pause the video and do that. And then if you're leaning back in your chair, go ahead and sit up tall. We'll start to just slowly activate the muscles that help us find length up through the spine. So inhale, lengthen through the crown. Imagine a little marionette string just pulling you up from the crown. And let your hands just rest gently wherever is natural, on the knees, on the thighs. And inhale deeply as you lift your heart. And then exhale, relax the shoulders down your back body. So you're just bringing more awareness and more integrity into the body, but specifically to this line of the spine, right? This plumb line, <coughs> center channel. There's all of these meridians of energy, or in yoga we call them the nadis. Um, not naughty, but naughty. And they run through the spine, right? Sometimes we refer to the major points as chakras, but whatever, whatever you want to rock in your mind and in your body, we're just going to take some time to breathe, to slow it down and find mobility in a way that's <coughs> soft and gentle, but also really supportive yeah, like. and beneficial. So when you're ready, we'll start with the soles of the feet. Lift the toes, press all four corners of the feet down and lower the toes. Lift the toes and lower the toes. Lift the toes and lower the toes. And one more time, lift the toes, spread the toes and release. Great, lift the heels one at a time. And then feel that tone, that engagement of the quad. Lift the heels, keep lifting, 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 lift your heart, open your mind to a new experience, and then lower the heels. Here we go. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, lower. Good. Inhale, lift the heels. Sit up nice and tall, and exhale, lower. Inhale, lift the heels, and exhale, lower. One more time. Inhale, lift the heels and exhale, lower. Awesome. Inhale, extend right leg out just as much as you can. So you don't have to come the full extension unless it goes there, then great. But just bring it up as much as you can. We're engaging our muscles here. So draw the navel in and up a bit. And you're just gonna spread the toes here, flex the foot, and then point the foot. Flex and point. It's all connected. One moving part, flex and point. Flex and point. Two more times, flex and point, flex it up nice and tall and point. And now here we go, rotating big circles here as you bring it down one way and then the other. Cool. Other side, extend the left leg out. So find your extension today. Engage muscles of the core to support the back. Sit up nice and tall. Here we go, flex and point, flex and point. Flex and point, flex and point. One more time, flex and point, and then rotating circles as you bring it down, rotate the ankle one way and then the other, and then your foot comes down to the ground. Awesome, okay, here we go. Interlace the fingertips. You're gonna grab the right knee and slowly squeeze and lift. So imagine that femur bone, we're kind of squeezing everything in. You can use the chair to ground down and then lift up here. So we're not here, but we're doing our best to lift up through the armpit chest and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Okay, so everyone's will be a little bit different here. If you can't quite squeeze, you can bring a little towel, like a dish towel even, to be extensions of your arms here and hold it here. Squeeze. Then one more breath here, squeezing and lifting. And then take that right shin and you're going to cross it over the top of the left thigh. 
then flex your right foot here. Bring your left hand to the outer edge of your right foot if you can, and then bring your right hand to the top of your right thigh, and we create this figure four here, and then sit up nice and tall. Now, if you want to deepen this and you're practicing with me and you want a little more, you can bring it to the elbow crease here and lift the leg up, okay? But there's really no need to push it. Great. One more breath. Fabulous. We're going to come back to the squeeze. So interlace the fingertips around your right knee. Squeeze. Then we're going to slowly extend the right leg out long. So you're going to slide your hands now to the backs, to the, to the hamstring, to the back of the leg, and extend it out super long, 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 and then bring it all the way down. Fabulous. Other side. Interlace. Here we go. Left knee squeezes in and up. Couple yummy breath cycles here. So you really got to bring the breath. Squeeze and lift. Just working where you are today. Appreciating your body in all its glory, all its beauty, all its limitations. Be thankful for this body that you have. It's the only one you got. So it's never too late to instill this relationship of kindness and love with your body. When you're ready, we're gonna squeeze and lift one more breath. And then we'll flex the foot and cross it over, creating that figure four shape on the other side. Grab your foot. And then left hand is going to come down to just gently guide the top of the thigh bone there around and down. So I've been practicing yoga for a long time and, and the benefits are really wonderful. So I'm able to sit up tall here. But I just want to honor and recognize and let you know if, if you're finding that you're sweating a little bit here, just sitting up tall, you can one, rest in the chair or use your breath. Inhale, breathe into your belly and exhale, relax your shoulders to slowly start to build more stability right around this spinal column. So you can sit up tall and have a posture that isn't causing pain, a conscious posture. Take one more breath wherever you are here. Something that's sustainable, sustainable posture. Cool, then interlace the fingertips, come back to the squeeze, the big squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then slide, interlace fingertips behind, slide them behind, and when you're ready, extend your extension, extend the left leg as long as you can, inhale, and exhale, slowly lower down. Beautiful. Hands are gonna come back to the tops of the thighs, resituate, reset with a deep breath in. Exhale out through the mouth. Beautiful. Right hand comes to the outer left thigh. And you're going to bring your left fingertips either to the back of the chair or maybe you swing it all the way around. You're just going to find a little gentle twist here. You can come up onto the toes if you like for a little more leverage. Breathing deep. Imagine your inhale really traveling down to your belly. So we're not breathing up, but we're breathing down. And then come back to center, take it to the other side, nice and slow. Twist, release, flushing the body. And if you really want the benefits of a twist, use that directional breath, right? Don't breathe up, but breathe some of that breath all the way down. Cool beans. Bring it back to center. Inhale, squeeze the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, release. Inhale, squeeze and lift, and release. One more time, and release. Awesome work, drop the chin to the chest. Stay here, breathing deep. Wrap the shoulder blades around the back body, so really firm the shoulder blades behind your heart space. And then inhale, lift the chin parallel to the earth again. And exhale, left ear over left shoulder. Stay here, breathe deep. 
Great, inhale back up to center. Exhale, right ear over right shoulder. Tag a little weight in the elbows here, my friends. Breathe deep. Awesome, inhale, come back up to center. Here we go. We're gonna slowly bring the feet over towards the right of the chair. And then you're gonna bring your right foot, we're going into warrior two, a supported warrior two. You can bring your right foot firmly to the ground, front knee over front ankle. And then you're gonna use your core strength. So think up, draw the energy up, navel draws in and up to slowly walk. And you can also use your hand on the chair to slowly walk your foot out, turn the left toes in, and then slide back so your hamstring is supported here, Virabhadrasana two with the chair. Whoa. And then just stay here, feel it out, really drop your center, turn the left toes in. And then you can stay here with hands on the chair, breathing deep, pull that right hip crease back. So that squeeze move we did here, imagine that. And then hands can stay on the chair or maybe we send the fingertips out. Really working from the ground up here, lifting the chest. Now, if this is not if this is not available to you, then so if, if you're here, then breathe deep directional breath, then you're just going to bring one foot forward, kind of creating a right angle, and then the right foot to the side. So one foot forward, one to the side, and work here. So wherever you are, directional breath, breathing deep, inhaling deeply, exhaling completely, inhaling deeply and exhaling completely. Think about lifting all four sides of the torso here. So the front, the back, and both side bodies, nice and long. Take one more breath, you got this. I know the arms are tired, you got this. And then exhale, bring the hands to your heart. Make your way back to center. Use your feet on the earth to come all the way back. So stay connected to the ground. Great, let's try the other side, really nice work. So we'll walk the, so we'll release the hands. We'll walk the feet towards the left. Just check it out. Plant the left foot firmly and then start to walk the right foot back. You can use the chair to guide you. Turn the right toes in, really press into the outer edge of that back foot and then use the chair to really support the belly of the hamstring here. And then open up through the hips Lift and lengthen all four sides of the torso. Maybe you keep the hands down or maybe you send the fingertips out. If you feel good there, stay there. Or maybe you bring the foot back and this is better for you, creating this 90 degree angle with the tops of the thigh bones and breathing deep. Okay, inhale, lots of love in, love your body. Love this life, explore space. So reach way beyond the fingertips here. Take energy way out beyond the physical posture. Notice where you might be gripping or holding, soften. And we'll take one more breath. Breathing really down, down, down into the belly. And exhaling, hands to heart. Awesome work. Here we go. Use the toes, feet on the ground to come back to center. Take your time, take your time. Wonderful. Then walk um, your bum just a little bit closer to the edge than we had before. And we'll inhale, sit up nice and tall, release the hands. And then keep this upward current of energy. Think up and over. So actually imagine you were holding a beach ball here at your belly. So you have big, big ball here, and you're gonna go up and over into a forward fold. Nice and slow. When you're ready, the spine starts to round. You can release the fingertips wherever it feels comfortable. And you're gonna bring your head towards your knees. Now you might just get this far. You might stay up pretty tall. You might need to make adjustments with where you're sitting on the chair. You want to get to a place where you can take some solid, delicious, feel good, let go breaths. And as you inhale in here, my friends, feel the skin of the back body stretch. 
Can you experiment with that? Can you feel the rise and the fall? Let the breath move you. Take one more cycle of breath, let it be full. And then first bring the hands up to the thighs, then plant the feet firmly, really feel the feet pressing into the earth as you tuck the chin and slowly roll it up. And then as you roll it up, feel that flash of energy, the blood flow opposite direction. And if you need to, if that was a, a big move for you, you can bring the hands to the chair for a little more stability, a little grounding. In case you got a little dizzy or a little head rush. Great, take a deep breath in. Exhale out through the mouth. Again, inhale in through the nose, come on. Exhale, let something go. And one more time, let's sigh it out. Inhale with sound. <coughs> Wonderful, open your eyes. Take a little moment to just notice how you feel. Tap into a little inner smile, maybe even lift the corners of your mouth slightly. Then we'll bring the hands together at the heart to seal our practice. Thank you so much for sharing your time and your energy with me and the rest of the community, everyone practicing with you through this video. Let us know how it went down below. How are you feeling, family? How are you feeling, Zen now? <laughs> I'm feeling pretty chill. I think that um, I needed to work out. And I have my Stitch shirt today. It was between Stitch and Tom and Jerry family. There was a little battle in my closet this morning. And Stitch won. He makes me happy. <laughs> so family, don't forget to surround yourself with people who love you and think you're amazing. And don't forget to surround yourself with things that make you happy, like goofy t-shirts. I love my goofy t-shirt collection family. It does make me happy in the morning. Getting up to decide what cartoon shirt or what funky shirt or what lovable shirt or what convert shirt I'm gonna wear for yoga, it's fun. It gives me um, something to look forward to in the morning. So yeah, COVID is here forever, I guess. So how do we find joy? How do we find love? And how do we feed our souls? Family? <laughs> Maybe for me, it's cartoon t-shirts and spending time with you. Whatever it is, go find it. Go find it and feed your soul. And um, it's okay to have moments of happiness. It's okay to feel good about ourselves. And we need that. We need to feel good about ourselves. We need to love ourselves again. It's been difficult, family, but you're never alone, always with your global family. <laughs> Don't forget, in addition to being an Ivy League graduate, a published author, a researcher, a qualitative, Woo, <coughs> 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 family. That's how you know it's working. And it makes you cough. <coughs> Gotta have my medicine, family. Don't forget, this coyote is medicated 100% of my day from when I wake up in the morning to when I go to sleep at night. I'm about 300 milligrams a day of edibles, probably. And don't forget, family, it's medication. Um, in addition to all that other stuff that I do, family, I am also, oh no. Sorry, it's okay. I'm also a former pastor and now just coyote in an effort to decolonize of Coyote's Lodge, House of Spirituality, Code Race Theory, and Medical Marijuana. Our services have been moved to the second Friday of every month, family. This coyote looks forward to spending some quality time working on our minds, bodies, and spirits, learning about our ancestors, and taking care of ourselves. Don't forget, family, this is your reminder that there is no one, absolutely no one, who is in charge of your spiritual well-being except for you. You are in charge of your life. You are in charge of your spirit. You are in charge of your body. And it's okay for you to take the time and support and love that you need for your well-being. 
It's okay, family. I love you. All right. So every day we finish our yoga with a daily prayer in which we are talking to our ancestors, family, and asking, I'm going to drop something for real, asking for their guidance and blessings. So yeah, me, I love you. And it's your favorite trickster coyote grandchild. I was my Yami's favorite family. I was a little spoiled. <laughs> she made me courageous and she made me brave. Gammy, it's your favorite Trickster Coyote grandchild. And today we have a very special prayer. Today, Gammy, it's all about letting go. Gammy, COVID is still affecting all of our lives. There's stress. There's too many things. There's deadlines. It's a never ending list of to do's. We can feel overwhelmed, we can feel frightened, and we might not even feel like ourselves. So Gammy, I'm asking for your guidance to send all of our peoples the ability to let go. Let go of what isn't serving us. Let it go, let it go. It is, it is hurting us, it is harming our bodies, whether it be stress, whether it be um, emotions that we haven't processed potentially, right? Whether it be a hostile environment in which we find ourselves. May we find the strength, the resiliency, and the ability to let it go. We can find ourselves, Gammy, and you are my first example of a warrior woman. Allow our people to start the healing process. Send us your blessings. I love you, and may you rest in peace. And to my great, great, and to my papa. Papa, papa, papa. Papa. My papa was everything loving and kindness, family. Dear Papa, as all of our communities start healing and we start to let go of everything that does not serve us. It could be bad habits. It could be um, stress. It could be overwhelming doubt in our abilities. Because family, let's be honest, the world chips away at us of confidence and sometimes it can be too much. We can forget who we are like this coyote. So don't forget to take time and to take a break. So Papa, send us love and send us support and allow us to let go of everything that is not currently serving us. I love you, Papa, and may we continue to make you proud. Have a good one, Papa, and may you rest in peace. I hope you have a good reception up there. I'm sure the games are good to watch. <laughs> and to my great, great grandpa, Pablo Beta, true revolutionary and a subtle public statesman. And to all of our ancestors, gammies, uncles, papas, cousins, those who are blood and those we have adopted who have treated us with dignity and respect. We are still here. We do honor to your name. We are your children, grandchildren, and great, 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 great grandchildren. We ask for your blessings. We ask for a new beginning and the ability to let go. There's too much on our shoulders. Our shoulders, not only this big family, but sometimes we carry the weight of the world. Let us learn how to let go of everything that is harming us, that is not feeding us, that is not loving us, that is not supporting us. Sometimes we have to let it go. So thank you, ancestors. We love you. And we're off to God's trouble somewhere else. I have to get that dry clean family. Poor thing, my stool. It always um, it gets beat up. It is a superpower tool, family, because it reminds me to take care of my spiritual self. So, family, I'm challenging you. I'm challenging you to take care of you today. I'm asking you to let go of something that's been stressing out or that's been too burdensome on your shoulders. And I'm asking you to go take a break and find some quality time with your loved ones. It is Friday, and hopefully you're going to get some downtime during the weekend. <laughs> this coyote loves you, and I'm off to go cause trouble with my cardio. <laughs> Bye.